So Trev, uh, what are you going to show us today? Well, what you're going to need to do a hard landscaping project. The first thing you need to do before you start everything is to know what you're working with, so you need to measure up the area. Okay. What do we need? That What's tape that? measure. Pretty basic, but that will give you your square meters that you need. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ways of measuring up. There's long extended tapes. You can have wheels. There's another There's another implementation we use here, which is a, a measuring wheel. Is there a saddle on that? <laughs> the, reason, the reason for this is, one, it's more accurate over larger areas. Uh, you just pull forward. There you go. And it'll give you a square meterage. Left, okay. right, do your plans. That will give you a plan to start your project. That's not the sort of thing a DIYer would have, though, is it? Not normally, no. But it's uh, uh, for anyone that's doing any on, on an extensive job where it's over sort of 25, 30 meters, they'd want this just to literally get a, a good, accurate measurement of the plot they're doing. OK. So apart from measuring, what, what, what else have we got here? What else do we need to do? Really important. Your personal protective equipment. Yeah. You know, for what you're going to use in. There's going to be machines you're going to be using. You're going to be using steel saws. You're going to be using whacker plates. You need your personal protection. So these what are these? Ear defenders. Right. Now, these will be used for when you're steel sawing. Mm -hmm. When anything with machinery, keep your ears safe. Yeah. Any, any reason why they're yellow? I like yellow. Right. Fair enough. Okay. Anything else? Gloves. Yeah. We're doing cement. Yeah. The cement. People have no idea how dangerous cement is. Yeah. Sure. Right. So what we do, I'm not littering there. These will protect your hands against yeah. burns. People don't realise that cement actually mm. burns. Yeah. Keep safe with your hands. Put your gloves on. Okay. Anytime Is you're there any, any particular way that you should be putting them on? Well, not like you do on an evening, up to the elbow, but yeah. we'll put them on, as you see, straight up there. No diamantes. Absolutely beautiful. Fair enough. Would you wear these on an evening? Good, no, I certainly would. <laughs> what else have we got? Oh, these look like gardening gloves. How, how are these useful? Well, how do good, these differ? If, if you're ever taking out vegetation, you'd put these on for the prickly mm -hmm. thorn the no. bushes, anything like that, or if you want protection against lifting heavy flags, they've got a good, nice Fantastic. covering. Okay, what else have we got here? Eye protection. These are your glasses, are they? <laughs> These are my rave goggles. These will keep you safe. Don't underestimate the danger with eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, again, when you're mixing cement in a mixer, you get splashback, goes into your eyes. Not good. These will protect you against stone chips when you're bolster chiseling. A lot of uses. I know people shy away from them, they look a bit dodgy, but you've only got one set of eyes. Do you Protect use them. them on site? I actually do, yeah. Good man. Yeah. What else have we got here? We've got some other, uh, it looks like ear plugs. Are they uh, just a different way of uh, protecting your ears? They are. These are disposables. If you don't want to go to the expense of buying a, a decent set of ear defenders, these are the next best thing. Mm -hmm. They're squashable, as you can see, as you compress it, down it goes, mm -hmm. it will form into the shape of your ear. So it just goes straight into your ear. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Readily available? Readily available. They yep. will cost you uh, £2, £3 for about 50 Right. And once you've done, you throw them away. Well worth it to protect your ears. Yeah, even when you get home on a night, you don't listen to the missus, put them in. Okay, and going on, what, what's this? This is a string line, string line and peg. Mm -hmm. What's that used for? Brick laying, you actually strike your line out and you take your levels from that. Mm -hmm. You can also use it for uh, when you lay your flags out to get your longitudinal, your latitudinal fall. So that will give you a level to get your water away. A lot of uses for a string line, a must. Any particular string you need to use? Well, like we've spoken about before, we like the luminescent string because you don't mm -hmm. trip over it. Safety again, Chris, important. Fantastic. Okay, what have we got here? Looks like an ice pick. <laughs> <laughs> this is for digging out. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're taking out the land, you need to take away the air. You need to get rid of all your, uh, your base material to introduce good, hard, strong, hard yeah. core. So okay. this is this is just a tool just to take out all the excess. Okay. Anything else here? What What is this? Is this a spade or is this a shovel? You don't actually know, do you? No, I'm no going to tell you. I, I am going to no tell idea. you. There's a difference. That is a shovel. Mm -hmm. The reason it's a shovel, because it's got sloped sides. Reason for that, you can pick up more. A spade has got a flat side and it's for mm -hmm. digging. Okay. This is for actually removing aggregates from one place to another easily and in a good amount. Fantastic. So, okay. And what have we got here? This looks like a miniature version of what we've just seen. Right. That is a brick hammer. Yeah. A couple of uses. One when you're getting your brick and you want a half, mm -hmm. bang into the middle off it goes. Sharp blade, be careful with it, use your protection. Important bit of tool. Okay. That's a good one. You don't have to go as, as good as this, but a brick hammer is... is, is and that's a, available at a DIY shop or any builder's merchant? Any good merchant will have these, yeah. And okay. like anything, you get what you pay for. But yeah, if you're sure. just doing a job and it's a one-off, you don't need to go to the expense of uh, an yeah. expensive tool like this. You just need to do what you need to do first. Okay. And that? Lump hammer. Mm -hmm. Called a lot of the things are different, uh, apart from a different com company. Big tip on this, don't use it 
mm -hmm. as a wacky tool. A lot of a lot of people I see go out, they bang their flags down with that. Yeah. You get brushed makes the tool dangerous. Right. Don't okay. use it. There's and tools. It for might that. break the flags, I guess. Well it well it, 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 it not often. Right, okay. But there's tools to do that, use them. Use the proper tool for the proper use. And and this? Again, bolster chisel. Mm -hmm. Both go together. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's for so that's what, does, what does that chisel out then? What, well, what if you're, you're doing if you're on? doing block work, brick work, breeze work, you actually strike your line down. Yeah. Down it goes, splits your block in two, gets you gets the size of block you want. Great. Once you split Fantastic. it, Fantastic. And any, any other here. tools that we've got on here? What, what what's this Trev? This looks right. well used. It can't be none by you. <laughs> this is a mall, rubber mm -hmm. mall. This is used for laying your flags. So if you're laying your flags onto a full mortar bed, what you actually do, this just taps you down to get to your right levels when you've put mm -hmm. your string line that we spoke around before. Yeah. This will take you down to the levels. Yeah. Every good toolbox has got one of these in it. Okay, fantastic. Big thing to be careful on this, Chris, yeah. just before I move on from this one. The rubber malt, you buy cheap, you can mark up some expensive flags because you get the, the blacking from the rubber goes onto mm -hmm. it. You don't want that. So be careful the one you choose okay, for this. Okay, that's a good tip there. Next thing we've got here, what is this, Trevor? <laughs> now this, mixologist's main tool, a bucket for measuring. Okay. The big thing where you miss out on here is when you're mixing your mixes to do your mortar beds, to do your walling, you do the three to one mix for your mortar, you do a five to one for your walling. What you've got to do, measure it. One cement, measure it, put it in, another five buckets, make sure the sand is measured. Then you get the right gauge. If you any, don't do that, it goes wrong. Any reason why this one's yellow? Is it another uh, uh, another fetish of yours that, <laughs> towards yellow? Or, As you can uh, see, is there a reason? There's, there's, there's something going on here, but I like yellow. Right, right. And also, good safety thing, on site, you're not tripping over it. You can right. see it. Fantastic. The, these two? These two. These are named plasters floats. Yeah. Uh, so reason, would we use these on, on sites out, outside? Or? Uh, some of the guys do. But they'd, they'd normally use their trowels, okay. you know. But if they're doing if they're doing uh, specific tiling or walling on outside mm -hmm. external uh, slips, they'll use these to get a nice surface and chop in. They look but, brand new, so they 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 are obviously yours. <laughs> yeah, not been used. Okay, next couple of things. What have we got? Right, these are the uh, these two. These these are the tools that of choice. Mm -hmm. We've got a uh, bricklayer's trowel. Yeah, this is obviously for bricklaying. Yeah, they scoop up lay the bricks, down they go. Any Just all different types. Any particular reason why they're different sizes or that's got a round edge or a pointy Well, it's, edge? It's, it's literally, a, it's the tool of choice. It's uh, for, so specific bricklayers like specific tools. If you're doing a smaller, intricate block work, mm -hmm. you'll use this to actually get in and get more mm -hmm. more detail. This okay. is for like basic bricklaying where you're doing long runs. Okay, so you get more You get more done. Okay, and these two contraptions here. Right, once you've done your brickwork, yep. you need to point it in. This doubles up as well for flags when you're actually doing the joints. Mm -hmm. This is a pointing tool. Yeah. You actually want your joints in, you put your mortar in, or you put your weather point in, and you strike it off. So that's joints between paving slabs. That's right, right, or between brickwork. Right, okay, So fantastic. if you've got brickwork, joint it, you give a nice uh, recessed, recessed so that's finish. got a slight bevel on it, if you like. Is it, What's the difference between these two? Well, these, this is also used. Uh, yeah. This is again for pointing, for yeah. flat pointing. If you want a flat okay. pointing, you'll get a flat finish to the uh, to, to its flush. Is there any benefits from recess or flat pointing, or is it just customer choice or total, your own preference? To total choice. And you see you've got two sizes there. You've mm -hmm. got smaller, larger. Right, so okay. You, a reversible for different tool. types of yeah, joints it is. that you've got. If you want there. it flush, use this one. This also doubled up. A lot of the guys use this to get their joint width, which is 10 mil, between the flags. Fantastic. So therefore okay. it doubles up as another tool. Okay, lastly we've got uh, a couple of other gadgets here. This looks like quite an important one. Do you want to talk me through this one? <laughs> now, on the level, mm -hmm. this is more important than anything we've spoken about. Right, fantastic. One, if you want things level, that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. But what we do, a lot of what we do, you don't want it level. Mm -hmm. Because you need to get your falls. Why do we need the falls? We need to get water away. So this checks your string lines. Every flag you'll see, mm -hmm. you'll see Matt working behind. Is, I bet, I've just heard a clunk, is that a... Is that a yeah, it, it looks is. like it, it is. It is the most used tool. Mm -hmm. Get this wrong, everything else goes wrong. We want okay. the water away. So there, there are different types of spirit levels, I guess. This, this looks like a similar contraption, is, yeah. is it? They call that a boat spirit level. Right. Right, and the reason for that is all the, the different, it looks like a boat for one. Mm -hmm. And two, you've got the uh, the different levels. This is for walling. So when you're doing walling, you actually put it up to the side of the wall and you can take your, your level there because you want your walls level at okay. all times. You never want a slopey wall. People yeah. that don't use them have slopey walls. We don't want them. Excellent. Important tool. 
Fantastic. Right. Well, that's it. That's what we've got to, to show everyone today. Thanks very much for your time, Trev. Not a problem. Cheers, mate. Thank you.